hey, y'all, I want to introduce you to a new project that I'm working on and something that I'm giving you access to. It's called the Free Dynamic Learning with Google Toolkit. And essentially what this is, this is taking my dynamic learning framework that is in my book, and you'll find it all over the ShakeUp Learning blog, and applying some strategies for the classroom and showing you which Google tools would work well for accomplishing that task in the classroom. So I wanted to give it some context. I'm never going to tell you that using Google Slides is going to equal dynamic learning in your classroom. So that's why it's important to connect the dots back to this framework. This freebie also goes with a new podcast series that I have titled It's Not About Google, and it's four parts. It started on January 7th, and you can get all the information on the Shake Up Learning blog, but you'll see on the page there'll be a little pop-up where you can get this free toolkit. But the blog post and the show notes and everything are here. You can listen to each episode on the page. And I just wanted you to get some context for how this little freebie works. So inside the dynamic learning framework, I have what I call the beyonds. And so you'll see those listed here. These are dynamic learning characteristics. And by the way, I have also enabled comments on this page. So if you hover over these, you'll see the explanation. So that kind of saved me some space in the Google Sheet. But you'll see the dynamic learning characteristic. You will also see the strategies for accomplishing this in your classroom, as well as a little bit of an explanation of what that task might look like, and then a list of different Google tools. Now, I'm not going to say one tool is, is the only way to go, and that's why I've also said this is a living document. So when I give you access to it, please follow these directions. If you want your own copy, you'll just go up to the top and click file, make a copy. However, if you want to see the changes that I make over time, you will also see a little icon up here next to instead of actually a folder. It'll look like the drive icon with a little plus sign. And when you click on that, it will add it to your drive. So you'll be able to see my file in your drive and you'll be able to search for it. But if you make a copy, you can make it your own if you want to. But I just wanted to let you know that this resource will continue to grow throughout the year. So we have all the characteristics listed here. I just wanted to go down. It, I, it's too big to give a screenshot and actually show you how great this is. But I hope this is useful and I hope it encourages you and your teachers to try some of the dynamic learning strategies in your classroom.